Welcome to the Thor Guide. Um, he's one of the oldest characters in the game. He's an assassin. Okay, thanks for the introduction, Thor. Um, yes. What does this character do? Um, he's highly mobile with his kit. Um, building ability damage. Uh, uh, get a pen, get a large uh, physical power items on him. And maximize cooldown reduction. Uh, yeah, something like this and I like a uh, lot of uh, this item on him as well 20% uh, increased damage to crowd control targets um, really nice so what's this about um, let's move to the audience bots so we can check out the kit um, even though he's pretty old the kit's the old um the kit is still uh sort of uh effective um because he has a lot of uh crowd control in his kit for uh to set up gank uh just yeah to set up kills uh when when ganking also in uh in the late game uh the cc is very useful uh his damage in the late game falls off so he is not the, uh, um, yeah, he's not the strong, strongest late game character, um, but he can still do some decent damage and he can uh, set up and has um, two spells which he can use for um, heal setups or for team fight uh, setups. Um, let's have a look at the kit. The passive is called Warrior's Madness. He gains physical power from gods within 55 units of him. Um, 10 physical power per god and a maximum 3 stacks, so 30 physical power from the passive. Um, his one is called Mjolnir's Attunement. Attunement. It's a projectile and a teleport spell. Um, for the most part this is his main damage spell, so we're maxing this first. Um, Thor throws uh, the hammer, hammer in front of him and when you reactivate the ability then he, you will teleport uh, to the location where the hammer was, like this. It reduced cooldown, cool uh, it has uh, another function as well um, and go for uh, uh, double the damage it deals. When you don't activate the teleport, uh, then the um, then the, the hammer will uh, return and will deal 200% uh, damage uh, on on the hammer return. So the normal uh, hit is not that crazy, but uh, you do double the damage with uh, the return returning hammer. So uh, you need to make sure if you need um, the spell, I uh, need it for mobility. Uh, it lets you also travel the jungle quite fast. Something like that. Now we come to his second ability, the Tectonic Rift. Um, it's, uh, his, it's a setup spell, it's a line uh, spell. It looks like this. Um, it's a uh, terrain you create which cannot be uh, pa uh, passed through as a not without an item and if you're directly hitting an enemy um, then the enemy will be stunned for 1.6 seconds at max rank um, I usually uh, sometimes uh, I am uh, level this up second, so max, max it out second. And then there's Berserker Barrage, his third ability. It's an area of effect ability. Um, works like this. Uh, he uh, spins around, spinning the hammer, dealing damage. Um, technically, 
it does a bit more damage. Um, a tiny bit more damage than Mjolnir's or Attunement, uh, but the disability also has been nerfed. It had once one additional swing. Um, which uh, made the ability a lot better and, and then you just uh, had to think about uh, do I get Mjolnir's maxed out first or Berserker's Barrage that came down to do they have a lot of CC and can they keep you at bay so Mjolnir's was uh, the call or um, do I get Berserker Barrage and um, do I yeah, basically, um, when I can, can I go in and uh, load the damage off without getting interrupted or uh, stunned, uh, which is the problem. You're just immune for knockups during the duration, but all other CC hits you. So uh, this can be easily interrupted uh, by a stun or whatever. And then there's this uh, Anvil of Dawn. This is a semi-global ultimate. Um, he leaps into the sky. He flies into the sky with uh, after a shot built up into uh, with uh, his hammer Mjolnir, and then it can choose a target location. And uh, this can also cover a great distance. Uh, and then it comes crushing down in area, dealing damage and stunning all enemies in the radius. And for six seconds after landing, when or deals damage to a god with your Mjolnir. Uh, lightning will arc, damaging the enemy hit and up to two additional enemies within 30 feet. Subsequent lightning hits uh, deal 15% damage. Um, this was buffed at some point. Uh, I think in the original version of Thor uh, it didn't do any arc damage. Um, yeah, and when you look at the damage numbers, yeah, it sort of looks fine. Compared to other assassins, uh, some other ability damage assassins, um, I do think his entire kit is by now on a more weaker side, so it's more of a set up god, uh, at least in the late game, than a damage dealer. Let's have a look at the ultimate. So, looks like this, and then I can choose the location, we're coming down, and for Brief duration, we are doing uh, lightning damage now. Uh, of course, this adds up uh, arc damage, uh, but I think um, other um, yeah, other junglers just have a much better overall kit, and so will he becomes more or less uh, a setup god in the late game, uh, rather uh, than a. Uh, um, Damage dealer to be reckoned with. Um, that used to be different. I'm not sure anymore why it has why his damage output has been uh, so greatly nerfed. Uh, there were some reasons for it, uh, but I can't recall it anymore. So that's for uh, Thor's kit, and now let's queue up uh, for a game and let's see how he does in the gameplay situation. All right, let's play Thor. And see how that goes.
the build for the build students. Yeah. Going with well, some sort of start out on Warrior Axe. Can't say no to that. Hi. Hey there. to win. All right. Be right back. Be right back. All right, let's get Jotun's wrath. An enemy has been slain.
Be careful. Bring the pain. Be right back. Okay! Queen Julia. That's what they get for opposing Bring master. On. So sorry. No problem. No problem. Help! Tag me in. I'll get them. This for us of all land. An enemy has been slain. Better them than you, Master. to being impressive. Unfortunate. I guess I uh, recall why I don't play this skin at all. No one actually plays it. An ally has been slain. Opposing master. Save yourself. I'm on it. <laughs> Better them than you, master. I'm on it. <laughs> 
enemy ultimate down. Bring it. An enemy has been slain. They were so close to being impressive. Fortunate. You've slain an enemy. That's what they get for opposing master. You have been slain. Not this gonna show it to Uh, at least I could finally read. Yeah, not the transformation. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. Man, that was intense. As expected of you, Master. You're surrounded by fools. Minions have reached your port. Uh, please just a two for one. Triple kill. It's just stay. Yeah. Right. Just stay in this form, please. <laughs> no, don't, don't don't change back to uh, the armored version. Let's go punch some. Be right Better them than you, Master. Who would be foolish enough to challenge you? Two birds, one hammer. <laughs> Attack the minions. Double kill! 
Give him a left. Give him the right. You're solid. Opposing master. Two birds, one hammer. They're on a rampage. Just don't knock anything over. An enemy has been slain. They were so close to being impressive. The two for one special. Right, back to the normal form, please. Uh, hopefully it's not the armor. Give him the right! The armored version. How the mighty have fallen. Be right back. An enemy has been slain. Enough to challenge you. Good game. Great gig. <laughs> man, that was nice intense. One, man. You're solid. See ya. I am a god. Come and get some. Alright, that was a poor video. Uh, guides ish. More or less hilarious, I guess. And I'll see you next time. Ah, wait a second. Uh, of course we want the victory screen. Uh, yeah, that's the, the armored version and the, the robot is, is just the worst. Uh, yeah, that's simply just the worst uh, version. This is great. Uh, but in this armor, it just sucks.